Well, he's a bitch to catch up, keep up with. Yeah, it's because our friend here is. Nice, he's dead. Oh. A lot of people have been saying that right when they leave the easy cradle map, they get ganked by just a couple players in a fast stiletto or something. But I am here today to show you a solution to that problem that also doubles as an excellent farming machine. So this here is my short sail dinghy. It is designed primarily for speed, so it can not only get away from enemies, but it can also keep up and take down enemies. You're going to require at least one gunner, and the gunner can always switch between the repeaters on top. Anyway, we'll go up to the top and I'll show you what it's got. So it's a very basic build, just a fireplace, some ammo, cargo here, and then two repeaters set side by side. Even though there's a ballista in the front, the repeaters have quite a good firing range and are very effective. It is designed primarily for taking down sails of enemy walkers. You just The driver gets right up close to the sails and the, the gunners just go bang, 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 bang and the sails get shredded in seconds. This will take out a stiletto quite quickly and is one of the most effective ways to do so, especially in early game. Not only is it excellent for firepower, it's also extremely fast and great for farming. I've added a ballista to the front not only for defense and offense, but also for crate dragging. You can put harpoons in this and drag crates until you've got thousands of fragments, and it happens fast too. Here, so mobility and torque are probably the most important. Armor is nice as well, and so is cargo. And then, of course, you have the choice of whatever you would like in the module slot. Since we're in a hard map, I can't show you exactly how fast this goes because the terrain is rough, to say the least. However, I can, we can take it for a little spin. In just a couple minutes, I will roll some footage of this thing in action. We've killed crabs with this, we've killed toboggans with this, we've taken them on raids, and quite frankly, this was the machine that facilitated our success, at least in early game. All of us enjoy it, and we use it to this day, even with Falco Walkers. Even on the hard map, it excels at going out around rocks and uphills. On the medium maps, when you're in the crevices, this can also climb vertical surfaces, making for not only an easy escape, but also quick response time for your allies. If you haven't made one of these already, I highly recommend it. It is an excellent build and extremely effective. The bang for the buck on this is like none other. Anyway, I will roll some footage of this machine in action and you guys can decide for yourself if it'll work for you. Good luck. Me. So. Damn it. Kill the driver. In. Bro, are those all the ships in front of you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy's on 38 HP. This driver. You got him. You got him. Bro. He's nice dead. Work. I hope this works on scaring them off, because I ain't gonna be able to do shit otherwise. Oh my god, you actually disabled that one. Wow. These these dinghies are fucking <clears throat> insane. Let's wait till I'm right next to him. Those aren't gonna hit. Yeah, I'll catch him, just, just give me a sec. You want to try to board him and slap him? <laughs> oh, there's two guys on that ship. All right, one sail gun. Do you want to switch gunners? So you're on the on the right side. Sweet. 